everyone and welcome to Travel Explore Celebrate Life. This is Sunila Patel, your host. And uh, today again, I have Remo with me, our guest from Switzerland, from the Jungfrau Mountains. Hello, Remo. Yes, good afternoon, Sunila. Nice to speak to you again. It's nice to see you again too, Remo. And uh, I think everyone's really jealous of your office because your office is high up in the mountains. You always have a cable car or a funicular or a cogwheel train behind you. And, you know, we are sitting here in the heat and we have to come with our local trains to reach our offices. But you reach your office in a gondola. That is something really different, Remo. Yeah, that's really special. I could I could say my home office is, is now on the mountaintop. So Every time you meet me, I'm somewhere on the mountains. Either it's on Hardikolm, Jungfrau, Eiger Express, or Fierce Mountain. And today, I'm going to go you show you another mountain. I hope you're ready for it. I am absolutely ready, Remo, and I'm sure our listeners are ready too. Wherever they're watching us, either on YouTube or if they're listening on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, I'm sure they want to tune in to YouTube and not miss this wonderful video because today is again a special episode and we are doing an audio video recording together. Um, today we are going to go to a very special mountain, which uh, Remo is going to tell you all about it. But I really like this mountain and I must admit the first time I went there, I learned how to pronounce it because I kept calling it first and then I realized it was not first, but it was first. It is still spelled like you would spell first, like first, second, third, first, but then you always pronounce it as first. And today we should, Remo is going to take us on a lovely tour of the first mountain. So Remo, over to you. Yes, thank you, Sunila. Yes, correct. It's a called Grindelwald first, uh, as we call it here. And uh, it's our top of adventure. Um, so we will see a little bit of soft adventure today. And I hope you're ready for that as well. And uh, how to reach Grindelwald first. You can see here the six-seater gondola. This is how I traveled here to Grindelwald first. And an easy ride, 25 minutes from Grindelwald from the valley station up here to first mountain. So Remo, before we start talking of first, I just wanted to ask you, you said it's Grindelwald first. So when someone is coming into the region of Interlaken, they are able to visit all the mountains of Jungfraubahn. So we have Jungfrau York, you have Hardikum, and then you have Fierst. Is it very easy to do all of this within three, four days? And if I stay in Interlaken, can I still make a day trip to Grindelwald and Fierst? Yes, indeed, Sunila, that's perfect uh, combination. So as I said, from uh, Interlaken, you can reach Grindelwald in half an hour. And then to go to First Mountain up here is another 25 minutes. So nowadays with the fast connections here in the mountains, the good service, you can even do two days in one, uh, two mountains in one day. So yes, that's definitely within three days, you're perfectly fine to visit all the mountains here. Wow, so it's like two for the price of one, something like that, right? I mean, two times the enjoyment. So if you're going there, Definitely don't miss out on first and we are going to see just why. But I just want to add something here for everyone who's listening in that Interlaken, the name comes from being between two lakes. So it's Interlaken and that is why it is called as that. Whereas Grindelwald is something, Wald means a forest and uh, you know the stones in the forest roughly translated. So as you can see, the mountains are really, really close in Grindelwald. So you can stay at either place, Grindelwald or Interlaken. And when you go to Grindelwald, you have to take the gondola to go up to Fierce. And as soon as you come up, oh my God, it's like you're in paradise. You know, I can't, I can never get bored of this. Um, and I was also lucky enough to visit this place as well. And yes, adventure. I think for, you know, people who are looking for adventure, be it the youth, be it the slightly older people or anyone of any age, you all have something out here. Remo, what a glorious view. That's just amazing. Yes, it's truly amazing. And uh, even myself working for this company and having the pleasure to often visit those mountains, I still enjoy actually the beauty of the mountains, uh, the combination of the green meadows, the fresh flowers in the spring. Still, we have snow now in, in the month of May. And of course, the eternal ice and snow and the peaks reaching 4,000 meters uh, is just an amazing combination. And the good thing is you can reach every mountain so easy by cable car or train. I know, I, I have to agree there. I mean, hand it to the Swiss 
and especially to Jungfrau Bahn because you know once you reach there it just seems natural that I, I think every time I look at a mountain I wonder how come there's no cable car going up or how come there's no funicular but you know you think of it and you will find some means to go up there and if I'm not wrong Remo the, the whole idea of using cable cars came with the farmers right they wanted to reach high up on the mountain and transfer all their goods and that's how they really thought of constructing cable cars and in some places in Switzerland you can still see like these little buckets that they used to use so some uh, of the old uh, wooden gondolas are still in operation and you can see that but yes when you go up uh, you go up Grindelwald first this is where you are and this is spring season it's the perfect season to be there that's just amazing so I just walked a bit higher from the cable car station uh, you can see now the restaurant down here, the cable car station, and that's the Wetterhorn Mountain, the Schreckhorn Mountain reaching more than 4,000 meters. And down here, you can see Grindelwald, oh, wow. the village of Grindelwald, yes. And just be, yeah, and we have been yesterday, we have been to the Eiger Express, so mm -hmm. that's over there. And you can see Mount Eiger as well, and the Jungfrau Mountain, and much more mountains up here. So what an amazing view at Grindelwald Fierce Top of Adventure. I feel like you're showing me a picture postcard and just pointing things out, Remo. It's that beautiful. So where shall we go first? I know that there are a lot of things that you can do on top of the Fierce Mountain. I know you can go off on a hike to a beautiful lake. I, and how long does that take? I think, is that an hour or two hours or so, Remo? Yes, correct. Uh, it's called Lake Bachalp. And from the okay. cable car station, it takes you approximately approximately one hour to go there and to hike there and uh well it's a, a quite an easy hike so anybody can do that and i'm just walking towards this uh, path now so mm -hmm. i can show you at least the beginning of the hike to lake bachalp and you know sunila the special thing about lake bachalp is that actually it's mirroring the mountains in the water wow. and um, that's just an amazing thing that's beautiful and I you know, in March, when I went there, I didn't have a chance to do the hike. But look at the flowers. That's so pretty. These must be white flowers. Yes, correct. Uh, I just wanted to show you that. That is the crocus flowers, it's called. They oh. always appear after the snow goes away. And that's a very pretty flower. It's kind of a, a saffron, but you cannot oh. eat it. But it's crocus, so it's <laughs> so beautiful. Yes. It's time for spring and it's just signaling that spring season is here and i just want to tell everyone that usually when you do a hike you know you have to climb up to a mountain 10000 feet 15000 feet here you know we are well, i would say it's a, it's cheating maybe a little bit but we've taken the cable car the cable car has done all the hard work we are right here on top of the mountain and you can really enjoy it so that shows you how easy it is because you're already on the top and then you go walking for an hour along the lake you have beautiful, amazing views with you, and then you can really enjoy. A, I think it's a perfect family, you know, activity, or even for friends. So, group of friends going together, school trips, college trips, youth, multi generation families. I think it just suits everybody. And I think Remo's taking us to the sign that shows us where the lake is probably. Yes, correct. This is the path to go to the lake. This is oh, the wow. lake, Bahal how it looks like and just here you can see the path it's a little bit uphill but like you said Sunila anybody can come here families young people it's easy to reach it's open almost all year round even during winter time you can come here so what an amazing place to come and to visit the lake here Amazing. And this is spring season. We are going into summer. So, you know, you're probably going to see images like the one Remo is showing easily when you go off on this one hour hike to Lake Bakalp Sea. Sea, by the way, is lake in Switzerland, in Swiss German. So when you see sea written, you must know that there's a lake around. Yes, correct. Sea means lake. And now we have, we go for the next uh, highlight here at First Mountain which is our first cliff walk by Tiso. And you know, the good thing is that's included in the rate. So if you reach the mountaintop here, you don't pay extra to go on the cliff walk. And are you ready 
to walk along oh my the God, cliff. I'm already here. getting goosebumps out here because you're walking on the on a path and you are just hanging, really hanging by the side of a cliff. Wow. Yes, this is a special thing here, the cliff walk. Uh, hello, good afternoon. Where are you from? India. Okay, I found oh two God. friends. May hello. I film you? Hello. So, where are you from? <laughs> Hi. From Mumbai, you are. Yes. Do you enjoy Grindelwald first? Okay. Will you come back here? Great. They they enjoy their time up here on the cliff walk. Thank you for That's your visit. Perfect. Have a nice day. Bye bye. We are one of the first people to visit Switzerland now, and travel has started again to Switzerland. And as you can see, there are people from India and Mumbai already there. And of course, uh, you know, Remo said met them. And yes, oh my God, this is really stunning and looks. It it seems easy but dangerous at the same time, Remo. No, don't worry, Sunila. This is perfectly safe. Uh, we have, uh, of course, good a very good system. You cannot fall down here, and you just walk along the cliff. And look at it; it's pretty long. It takes about 250 meters, and uh, we we will even cross the bridge now. So, <laughs> are you ready for that? Oh wow! Yes, we are. That here looks you go. amazing. This is, I think this is these are some of the best views in Switzerland, right, Remo? Yeah, I could I could say that this place here, Grindelwald first, and the end of the cliff walk, which is like a snake, and then you will reach the final end of the cliff walk. Mm -hmm. This is one of the hotspots for Instagram. So it is indeed a very, very special place. Yeah, I think I think we could see already that some of the Indians are out there and we're going to see some lot of Instagram photos and Instagram pages by every visitor who's going to Switzerland because I mean this view needs to be shared with everyone you can't just have it to yourself right share it and inspire the others to come out there too it's just so stunning. Yes, it is indeed. Sorry, I just had to pass by <laughs> to people. And now you can see the end of the cliff walk. There's the queue <laughs> for the Instagram spot ah. and everybody taking the pictures in front of the famous Iger North Face here. I think it's a, it's really a marvel of engineering and architecture that the kind of things that you can build now. I mean, who would have thought that on top of a mountain, you could build something like this. And really, I think Fierce deserves its name, the you know, top of adventure, because who would have ever thought that we could be standing out here on a mountain on the top like this and taking the view. And as you can see, so many people out there wanting to get their selfies just perfect and make sure that everyone else is not there in the picture. Exactly. So here you can see the end of the cliff walk. This is the perfect selfie spot. And um, you can see the village of Grindelwald down there and the Eiger in the background and the glaciers. So what else do you need? First cliff walk included in your ticket to Grindelwald first. Everybody loves it. You know, Remo, I really like this idea of including attractions into the ticket price because sometimes when you go to a lot of places, um, you know, a lot of things are not included and you just pay separately for everything. And every time you have you go up and you feel, I want to do this attraction and then you have to end up paying. So it's nice to have um, the fierce cliff walk included, which by the way, like we saw, anybody can do it. Everybody can do it. And then with the remainder of the adventure activities, you choose what you want to do and you can add that in. And here we are at the restaurant um, and they, they serve really amazing hot chocolate. So the next time you go up fierce mountain, make sure you have your hot chocolate and some rosh tea, which is a swish dish which is quite similar like potatoes, which are grated and baked and simply delicious, or you can have fries or whatever else you want. I think the restaurant serves a lot of food, right? Remote different varieties too. Yes, correct. We have a nice choice of a, of a self-service area. We also have a served area and um, you can choose from the buffet and there is a lot of fresh food, mountain food, but also international food. So um, yeah, everything, everyone will find something and I just had a delicious uh, dish before as well. So um, mm -hmm. already was at the restaurant. And by the way, um, that's also a place to stay. It's not just a restaurant, it's actually also a hotel. So oh, why wow. not staying once on the mountaintop with your group, with your school group? That's a unique experience to wake up in the mountains in the morning. 
that's one school trip i would definitely like to be on because to be able to come here stay here with your friends and then wake up to this view who would want to miss that right so it's it's really uh, fascinating and i'm so glad that there's a restaurant first of all remo i'm i'm so happy that most mountains would think of this because i don't know about you but when i go to a mountain and when it's cold it's already cold up there you're at a height you just feel more hungry and you're also doing a lot more activity than you're used to so you're walking around quite a bit and the breakfast just disappears so you probably have breakfast and then leave on a on a trip like this and by the time you reach up you start craving food or at least a coffee or hot chocolate and then when you see the restaurant you feel like all my prayers are answered and especially to sit down with a coffee or a hot chocolate or a tea or or some food and enjoy this view oh my god that is like the you know the perfect heavenly paradise that i can call it yes and i realize sunila we are again talking about food so <laughs> i think for both of us it's uh, an important thing and um yeah uh, so definitely uh, to have breakfast with the mountain view you just feel more hungry isn't it it's just uh, really true and by the way this place here we had a crash landing on new netflix series which was made here it's a korean netflix series and it was made here on this spot and so all the people who watch this series they come back to have a look here at at this meadow because it's a it's a famous place now that's really good remo because you know even in india korean dramas are really quite popular and crash landing on you i think has its own fan following so for fans of crash landing on you the korean drama uh, you can go up there and take uh, your own crash landing pictures so that is amazing but honestly i think on grindelwald fierce wherever you stand and whatever photo you take it's always going to be good because you cannot take bad photos here the view is just amazing everywhere that's true it's it's truly amazing and you know the best thing is here on grindelwald fierce we have different fun elements i, I showed you the cliff walk which is included yes. and additionally you can buy on spot of course uh, adventure packages and one of the activities is actually the uh, the first glider and i'm uh, flyer sorry i'm <laughs> i'm at the flyer and i'm standing here now there's quite a queue but i try to make my way up to the departure area so if you bear with me for one minute i will go up there yes yeah, so, so everyone the fierce flyer is something that if you do go up fierce is something you must 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 try because it's very safe it's very easy and all you have excuse to do me. is sit in a chair like really excuse just sit in a chair there's a nice Sorry. harness a safety harness and as you can see there are lots and lots of people who want to try it out um you just go up there you sign up for it uh, of course depending on whether you already included it or you pay for it separately and then you are flying in the air with this view so it's something that you cannot miss and remo is going to show us exactly how it takes place Yes, correct. I'm now at the departure area. Just to call the guys. So I just show you how this works. It's it's so cool to be working on a mountain top because you can just make your way through and get into all these special places which are off limits for everyone else. But Remo just has to walk in there and he can walk in anywhere he wants on the mountain. That's that's really quite special, Remo. I think that's yeah. great. So that's the view on the left hand side, you wow. can see the gondola and this is the rope for the first flyer and this is actually the departure gate. So the gate will open here, you will sit in a harvest and then you will fly down on this line, on this zip line, all the way down <clears throat> to the valley. And this is how it looks like if you take off, that's the view you get, then the door opens here and then there you go, you fly with 80 kilometers per oh hour God. through the air. So that's an amazing experience. Yeah, and it's, you know, it's it's quite easy to do it. So it is definitely soft adventure. It's easy to do it, but it's really thrilling at the same time. And you're safe and securely strapped on. So you can just really have the ride of your life as you go down there. Yes, sorry, it's quite busy. I'm getting off again here. <laughs> here we go. It's good to know that it's busy and that, you know, Switzerland is ready for us and uh, Jungfrau is ready for us. Grindelwald Fiest is also waiting for us. So 
we really can't wait to be out there demo again. Yes, correct. And beside that, uh, Sunila, we have the flyer here, we have the glider, we do have mountain carts as well, and we even have scooter bikes. So all in detail, you can book through Vina World, of course, of course, and then uh, they will give you the best advice what to book for your excursions. And that's what you can do actually on Grindelwald first, beside the hiking options. Yeah, that's that's just perfect because everything is close by, everything is nearby. Depending on the kind of adventure you want to have, you can do whatever you want. So you can come in, have a, you know, as it is, the thought of going up in a gondola itself is quite exciting. But once you reach on the top, you can have a meal, you can go into the flyer, you can also do what is known as the glider. And if you are visiting in winter, then there are skiing activities and other snow fun activities out there too, which I want to tell you that it's really nice to go to a mountain, well, if possible, at least twice, once in maybe spring, summer, and once in winter, because it's completely different. The views are different, uh, you know, the snow levels are different the way you see it is also quite different. And we talked about it when we spoke of uh, Jungfrau and we spoke of the Eiker because, you know, in winter, everything is covered in snow. And then by spring and summer, you do see a little bit of green as well. And yes, if possible, to visit a mountain twice a year. Yes, this is, this is right. And any season in winter time, summertime or spring, just feel free to come here and to enjoy your time at Grindelwald first. And uh, I just want, would like to mention that we also have a Jungfrau travel pass, which covers. So this is something you should consider to have a Jungfrau travel pass for your stay here in the Jungfrau region. Okay, we just lost you there for a little bit, Remo, but what Remo was saying, everyone, is that there is a Jungfrau travel pass and that basically covers all the three mountains. So you have Jungfrau York, you have Grindelwald Fierst, and also Hardakum. So Hardakum is another mountain which you can take up from Interlaken. You take a funicular and you go up there. And my favorite time to really visit Hardakum is the evenings because the sunsets and the twilight is just beautiful out there. And then you can have dinner on top of the mountain and then come down. So, you know, if you, and, and like Remo said, it's so easy to go everywhere and it's so fast now that you can actually do two mountains in one day too. So even if you're staying there for say two nights or three nights in Interlaken, you can easily cover all three. And yeah, the Jungfrau travel pass is basically really good value. So, you know, if, if we all love to save our money when we are traveling for sure and buy that extra chocolate or that little souvenir and keep some money for that. So that's perfect. And uh, yes, can we ever get tired of this view? Yes, me neither, Sunil. I, I love to stay here up in the mountains. And um, yeah, like you said, you could do Grindelwald first in the morning and then in the afternoon, late afternoon, evening, you could still head to Hardekulm. Hardekulm, by the way, is easy to reach from Interlaken. It's only eight minutes by funicular to go up to Hardekulm, top of Interlaken. And on the top, you have a beautiful two lake bridge with panoramic view on both of the lakes, Lake Thun. Lake Brienz and Interlaken, and of course, Eiger and Jungfrau. So another beautiful excursion, which you should cover and discover when you're here in the Jungfrau region. Remo, I want to ask you, how many times have you been up Jungfrau York and how many times have you been up Grindelwald Fierce? Have you ever counted? Uh, actually, I didn't count, but most probably to Jungfrau, I've been a 100 times. <laughs> so <laughs> yes, and first probably 50, 60 times. So yes, I'm, but I don't get tired of it. Don't worry. No, I'm so happy that you took the time out to come out here and show us this view and show us how wonderful the Fierce Mountain is because we, we do know Jungfrau York quite well in India, but you know, you introduced the new way to go up there, which is the Iger Express. And then you took us on this beautiful journey of Fierce Mountain. I'm sure we are all waiting to go out there and try the flyer, the Fierce Flyer. So everybody just make your way there. Switzerland is the place to be. Interlaken, Grindelwald and Jungfrau York, Jungfrau Bahn. Bahn is the railways. So, you know, they are waiting for you. They're waiting for all of us out there. So Remo, thank you so much for coming on board and taking us on this tour. Uh, I'm sure there are a lot more questions, a lot more things to discuss and a lot many more things to say. 
but unfortunately we have only so much time but it's been a wonderful 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 journey and uh, we've really enjoyed it so thank you for coming on Remo. Thank you very much for this opportunity it was a pleasure to speak to you and as we always say at Jungfrau Rail Railways seeing is believing if you haven't been here you didn't see it it's much better than through just the webcam so come here enjoy your time enjoy the mountains and relax in the Jungfrau region and on top of Europe. Thank you so much, Sumanilla. Thank you, Remo. And everyone, I just want to add that if you're in Interlaken, then right in the heart of the city, like after you've done all the mountains and everything, you or even before, you can make your way to the top of Europe shop. It's this wonderful little place that is brand new again, that has been created. And it's really, I love the interiors. You have to go there and see to see it. Uh, I had to believe it also because it's very beautifully made. You can actually even buy tickets for the railways out there. Or if you're holding a voucher, you can extend those, uh, exchange those for tickets as well. And Remo, remind me on the top of the, uh, on the first floor, there were lots of Swiss knives, right? In the decor. How many Swiss knives? I think that's a record of sorts out there. Yeah, we, uh, we put 30,000 Swiss pocket knives, <laughs> the blue ones, the red ones, and the white ones forming the cross, the Swiss cross on the ceiling. So have a look at it. And uh, last but not least, you can even buy your tickets there at the top of your shop flagship store. So yes, it's a good reason to go there. Yes, so thank you so much. This was our episode on the Jungfraubahn railways and the different mountains that you could go and different ways to go. So yes, if you do take the Jungfrau travel pass, you will have the opportunity to travel by cogwheel train, by funicular, which is also a kind of train, uh, by the cable car, by the latest cable car as well. So you have everything covered all in one holiday. So Remo, I hope the you know summer comes in uh, with good sunshine and make sure that the weather is excellent for all the Indians when they get there. I'm sure you'll do that. So thank you again and see you soon. Bye bye. Bye bye. We are ready for you. Take care. Thank you, viewers, and do tune in to Vina Words Travel Explore Celebrate Life, just like you've always been doing. This was a little experiment to bring you um, not just a podcast, but also the video so you could enjoy both. I hope you've liked it. Do let us know your comments. My email is sunila at vinaword.com, S U N I L A at vinaword.com. And I look forward to hearing from you. Next week, we shall come back with another episode of Travel Explore Celebrate Life. Bye bye.